How's it going guys? Dom here with Dom's Vlogs. Are you ready kids? Because I'm not. And no, we're not talking about Spongebob. Yes, you know me. I'm already hyped for Spongebob. He's doing great. Um, I can't wait to see that stop motion Halloween special coming up soon, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about none other than a classic cutaway jokes, none other than the Seth MacFarlane's Family Guy. Family Guy was a kind of like a um, like like solid cutaway jokes with a song and dance number that uh, like can be done very good in adult comedy. I loved Family Guy. I, it was so good. It was so good. I mean, Stewie killing his mother, and plus he's a somewhat of a uh, what is he a homosexual? Somewhat, I don't know. But he was my favorite character. Brian was that, you know, that kind of type of dog. Peter was always, like, you know, forgiving himself because he knew he was stupid. I always liked that. But, I'll be honest. I think, like I say in my Cartoon Network needs to die, I say Family Guy needs to die. I, I'll be honest. A lot of people are starting to hate Family Guy right now. Some of the stuff is good. I mean, you could get the occasional good joke or good moment. But all that hatred, all that bile, all that, like, ugh, all the, all the bad stuff just doesn't feel worth it to me anymore. And half of these jokes are just bad jokes. Like, I mean, literally bad jokes. I mean, I looked at Family Guy... Once upon a time, Stewie's birthday. I love that episode so much because Peter at least knew he made a mistake. He made a very big mistake, and I'm proud of him for doing that. But now Peter's nothing more than just a cruel, neglectful, evil character. I mean, he attacks his friends, he abuses his children and his wife. He's just, like, that bad. And, I mean, Brian... Brian, I mean, he's not evil. He doesn't kind of like murder people. He's just a jackass. He's just one big jackass that people shouldn't even like consider liking. I look at one episode of Brian, like when he was a puppy dog. I'm not, I don't want to say like, you know, good for him because in the story, he doesn't deserve it. But in other episodes, if he died, he should stay dead. But literally, I I heard a comment saying like, yeah, fuck Brian, I hate the guy. Yeah, like, I can understand that. And here's a funny thing. Compared to South Park, which everybody's starting to like, Family Guy has double the viewers of South Park per episode. The reason why, maybe because a lot of people are looking at it because we hate it. We hate Family Guy. I mean... I can look back at some of the older episodes and still like it. Some people say like around season 10 is where everything started to flush down the toilet. Whatever the case, man, there is such a decrease in quality. I mean, every joke was terrible. When I looked at like handicapped jokes, not good. And the most dumbest and just, oh my god, I've always hated these jokes. Suicide jokes, my god. God, I've hated them. SpongeBob's done it in the past. We're not talking about that, but I tell you, they've done it before. And uh, are you happy now? But and one course meal. But this one's just pushing it to the limits. Brian's a bad father. Herpes the love story. Seahorse seashell party. And none other than screams and silence are the epitome of. Worst episodes. Worst episodes ever. Also, not not all dogs go to heaven. So, even to the point that we're at today that Seth MacFarlane says he wants the show to end. So, end it, Seth. End it. We don't want to see something this god-awful. We don't want to see anything like that. Hell, I would look at the old episodes. I look at the old episodes and... You know, just look at those for fun. But I never look at, like, like, suicide jokes, 
herpes, domestic abuse, handicap chokes, like, what is that? I mean, it's just pretty bad. I, like, like, if you ever seen the mysterious Mr. Entern do his Screams in Silence review, he put up a warning that he will get so pissed off at this show. And he did. I saw the anger in him, and he was right. And let's not forget, they have so much filler. I mean, the cutaway jokes, some cutaway jokes were pretty good. Others, not so fun. I mean, I actually did kind of like the, uh, I actually did kind of like the part where Stewie took over the world in his little virtual reality thing. I also liked, you know, the Las Vegas episode. Most people would recommend that as a pretty dull one, but hey, is that to take that or Herpes the Love Story? I just don't know what happened to Family Guy. I don't know what happened to this thing. I can't stand what happened to it. Family Guy was so good, and I used to look at it on Netflix a lot. I used to look at it a lot. I used to look at the James, you know, with James Woods in the mansion, who was the killer. Hey, at least it's not M. Night Shyamalan doing all the twists. And as he's doing Tales from the Crypt, I consider this going to be a pretty bad one because the master of twists is not very good at it. Dude, Devil and Last Airbender, can we please stop doing this? It's dead in the water. If you're the master of twists, at least not make a stupid one. God! Shamalon. Even the happening I really did not like because the dialogue of the characters in the happening weren't that good. And Family Guy, I mean like, I, like going back to Family Guy, I really think the only good character left is Stewie. I mean, just like Teen Titans Go, kind of like how Raven is in Teen Titans Go, Stewie can go back to being the biggest jackass in the group, but he'll go back to being a different character. I used to like, I, I still like Stewie, and he's a, he's one of my favorite characters of all time. If, if I was going to pick him as the top five best characters, this guy would probably be, oh, I don't know, maybe around number two. Same with Peter and Brian as worst characters. I mean, I could talk about, like, like every joke was so mean-spirited and foul, and everything... I could talk, like, a lot of things on Family Guy. I mean, the animation is alright if you're not considering all the goddamn murder they've been doing. But also, it's got a nice, nice warm heart to it. I mean, I mean, some of these jokes I did not like. The only joke I liked with Stewie is when he, he was beating up, I think, was uh, Salman Bin Laden. That was kind of the only funny joke I kind of liked on Family Guy. Because, hey, Ben Laden, 9-11. I don't know. I don't know the history of 9-11 that much. All I know is that, uh, well, let's not talk about it because we're not even at September 11th yet. But that's the only thing I found funny. I never found the uh, uh, Arabic, Arabic lobster funny. Yes, he danced funny. That's the only thing. But Peter just making fun of it. Like... When you're making a joke, you can't make it incredibly this stupid. I think I think already Stewie's big catchphrase, bloody hell, or burn in hell, or good day to you, sir. Like that part, those types of lines, they're starting to become memes, and I'm starting to hate it. I'm starting to hate it when everything becomes memes. Let me just do that away. I'm starting to hate it. And could we please stop with the memes? If you're going to make memes, at least let them make sense. Alright, well, you know me. I said quite enough. I mean, I miss Family Guy being funny. I don't like it being, like, so cruel, mean-spirited, and just stupid. I just hate it. I mean, that's all I can say. I'll be doing top fives pretty soon. Um, I'll see if I could try to do the best movies. Because it's pretty hard. Because I don't... Because 
Because it, it's got to be some movies I looked at, so... Yeah. Well, that's all I could say. Again, Family Guy needs to die. So, stay scary, and I'll see you next time.